Hey everybody, good evening. I hope everyone have a blessed day, have a blessed evening. I hope your loved ones also is having a blessed day, blessed evening. Okay. Um, so y'all catching up on hoghead, okay? So um, all right. So it was a live. This one didn't have a title, it was just one of her lives, and I think this is like when they, they were moving. So this video started off, y'all, with her sitting in um sitting in the car saying you know what a day it was she had a long day and everything she began to say that uh she let the manager of the the attic house where she was at she ate him alive and um she had him for breakfast because it was early she said she enjoyed getting all up in his ass she told him he was a slumlord and he had enough nerve to ask her for the rent she said she told him she leaving and moving on to better and told him he could live in there in the slums. She went on to say that he was so jealous of Rax parking his vehicles there. She said, um, she told him, you old bitch, just stop hating. Mm, mm, mm. And then she started laughing. You know that stupid, evil laugh when she thinks she's ahead in life? She started laughing at that and saying that she really, she really did get on him and how fun it was to just let loose on him. That yo, first that's childish as hell. And why she can't never leave nowhere peaceful, y'all. Y'all know it's every every time she moved from somewhere, it always got an end in drama. She thinks she ahead now, but listen, it was no need for you to curse. You've been you've been there all this time. You've been there all this time. You ain't been saying nothing about that that landlord. You did say he was jealous of um Rax vehicles or whatever. Blah 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 blah. You everybody's jealous of you, and then you added Rax um to the jealous agenda with you. Whatever, okay. The whole fucking world jealous of you and him, courting you. All right. So um, you know why you just couldn't leave? Why you had to say you a slum lord and do all of this and um you know, call them names and curse them out and all that. Why you just couldn't leave? Why you, you're you going to be 52 soon? It don't even matter about you being 52. It's the fact that you're in your 50s, period. You couldn't just leave. You had to do all of that, you know, and, and you you don't have a humble bone in your body. This is why you go through what you go through. You don't even know how the situation is going to go over there with Rax. You already having doubts, okay? Shit already not seeming right, and we all can see it. Between y'all, we all can see how that that's not gonna work out. Because for one, you're not a woman. We all can see that. So, you know, instead of you being humble, like, you know, I might have to go back there to the place if it's available. You just curse people out. This is why you can never go back to where you came from. Because the way you leave, as soon as you think you got a little piece of something, you go off, going off on everybody, all of a sudden, everybody bums, they this, they that. They that, y'all, oh, that, mm-mm. That, that was uncalled for, you you doing that. Going off on that um person that gave you you a place to stay. You act like you hit the lotto or something. You was old bum-ass bitch. You moving into a place with, with a, a damn guy. You're not, your name not going to be on the lease. Or none of that. Nothing's yours. He bought his own furniture and everything, and you going to go off on somebody. You don't even know if you're gonna stay there that long. You don't even you don't even know that the kids are moving in. You don't know what's bound to happen. But like I said, you's a bum bitch. Soon as you you think you get a little bit ahead, there you go going off on everybody. That's crazy. Anyway, um, so she said, um, she went on to say that she left the litter box and Rax Rax told her to um, she should have put it in a plastic bag. Mm. I mean, I have moved from from places, my own apartments, and um, when I was moving and I had a, a cat, I bought a whole another litter box. I'm just saying, you know, maybe some people. I'm not knocking anybody. Maybe some people, you know, clean it out really good and move to their new residence with the litter box. Me, I buy a new litter box. That's a litter box. I'm. It's a new place. I want a new litter box for my cat. I'm saying that to say, bitch, I mean, all this bragging and boasting that you be doing, and you got the nerve to sit up and talk about, oh, you left the little box, and Rax told you to, you should have put it in a plastic bag? Not Mr. Mercedes BMW told you that. Oh, okay. 
anyway. So then she went on to say that she didn't, you know, get to get the carrier, the cat carrier from her uncle's house. You knew you was moving. You you know this woman ain't got shit, y'all. No money, no savings, no nothing. Because you knew you was moving. You you kept telling the YouTube. You so busy telling YouTube everything, trying to tell your quote unquote haters everything, trying to prove stuff to everybody that you're not handling what you need to handle in real life because you so busy trying to paint this this fucking picture on YouTube. So you don't handle what I mean. You you've been telling us you was moving. So why didn't you prepare and you got your own cat carrier or been borrowed the cat carrier? I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. Anyway, y'all. So after saying that, she was so high. Like I I said plenty of times, she was higher than the giraffe's coochie. Okay. Then the video cuts off. That video just it just cut right off. Right. Okay. So then it was the um the next live I watched. All right. I had the stomach through this live. Oh, just man. Anyway, so she comes on with that uh that old black curly wig. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. And um she's having function um, um malfunctions with the um T Mu dress, something about some little strings or something hanging. Adrian, that's what happened when you got two dollar clothes on, okay? The little strings and shit hanging. Come on, man. You be doing too much. Um anyway, so she apologized for the last live cutting off, guys. All right. So she said about their first night in that um Rax new place. We ain't gonna say theirs, Rax new place. Um, she said sleeping at the new place was all right, but it was a little tough. I mean, either it's a right or it's tough. I don't know. But anyway, it, it was it was all right, but it was a little tough. She said because the electricity is not on. Once again, why why is it taking so long for the electricity to come on? I mean, we know you can't put nothing in your name, but you have told the YouTube streets and people go over what you say. You have told the YouTube streets that Rex um never had anything in his name, you know, because he was living with his baby mom for 16 years. So of course the the woman, you know, everything is you know settled out in, in the name and whatever. And um, so and he got squeaky clean credit according to you. So I don't I don't understand why it's um so hard for the electricity to come on anyway. Just say that it wasn't no funds available because first of all he had to get all the furniture and, and pay that the front first month rent security deposit and all that. So just say that because you didn't contribute shit because you don't have shit. Okay. So just say that. Be honest and say that he didn't have enough to um, you know, turn on turn on the lights. You don't want to say that because you you um painted this picture about him like he was Mr. Um, Monopoly or somebody. So, you know, you don't want to say that, but that's what it is. Just say that. Anyway, um, yeah, y'all, so she went on to say that. <laughs> Yo, she, she don't give a fuck what she say. She said that her and Rox had to run a shitty, <laughs> a, sh <y> a <laughs> shitty cord from downstairs <laughs> to upstairs. And the reason why the court was shitty because his dog's downstairs, right? So um, she said she had to help him untangle it, the shitty court, and she didn't put any, <laughs> and she didn't put any gloves on. And she told people she, y'all don't know how many times I had to wash my hands. It was just so nasty. Talking about you know they had to run. Why? First of all, I'm not gonna untangle nothing shitty for that court to be shitty. That means the court was there, right? And y'all just untangled the shitty cord, you know. And why didn't I mean a a extension cord doesn't cost that much money? Why couldn't he or or you go to Walmart or something and buy a cord? You know, it you sit up here in this camera and brag, 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 and look at the shit you saying. Y'all sitting there untangling a shitty cord. I wouldn't have told <laughs> why <are> you had <laughs> y'all. <Sorry>, <laughs> I would not have said no shit like that. Oh my goodness. She said because they had to run the power from downstairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I can't. She had they had to run the power from downstairs to upstairs so they could plug in a few things at a time. So she said he got a refrigerator. He bought a refrigerator. She's and then said, thank God. Um I, I don't know. Maybe everywhere different. I never moved in nowhere that didn't come with a refrigerator. But anyway, and then you saying, thank God. You you just didn't contribute to shit. Huh. Anyway, so she said he 
getting it together slowly but surely. He and the electricity will be on Tuesday. Okay, we'll see. Anyway, so he enters the room right while she's talking on the camera and she says hey handsome and he says hey dry what happened to the um you know the the this is my baby and all this other shit they was doing anyway because he was in there working you could hear like noise in the background like he was doing a lot all she do is sit down so i know you know when she's trying to soup him up with the hey handsome that shit is getting old he he's he's getting tired of her he's tired of her already y'all anyway so um she said it takes effort and they both and they talked about that on both parts you know he brought up the situation don't act like that's something y'all came you know came to conclusion to talk about no he he talked about it and he said that it takes effort he told you that i'm saying try to no anyway um so then she went on to talk about how she was so stressed getting the cat um because they didn't have the carrier from her uncle's house so she wrapped the cat up in a thick blanket and the cat kept getting out <laughs> Yo, man, <laughs> this is a fool. Anyway, so one of her subscribers told her to let her guard down, and she said her guard is down, but it's hard, and because it'd be moments where it's hard to do when she's trying to put in effort. First of all. No, your guard is all the way down. You let it all the way down. You've been let it down. You let it out for the whole YouTube when you kept saying, my baby, and we in love, and you started doing all that, all that boasting on that, um, man. You've been let it down. You let it down. When you decide to move, you don't have shit right now, okay? You don't have no savings, nothing right now. All you got is your Timu dresses on your back. That's it. And you completely moved into this man's house that he got. You don't, um, your name is not on that lease, okay? I know that. It's not on there. Your name ain't on shit. So you that you let that guard all the way down because you moved right in there with just your team move dresses on your back and, and no, no type of savings, no nothing. The same old dirty ass damn recycled wigs. That, that you, you've been let it down, okay? So don't know it's halfway down. No, I'm a no, it's down. It's down. You just jumped up and oh, it's down. It's down. You're stupid. Anyway, um, yeah, y'all. So then she um went on to say that they they have the burner. You know the burner that she was cooking on um on in the attic. She said they have that on. They have that plugged in on the shitty um cord so that she can cook. You are gonna cook on something that's attached to a shitty cord? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's I'm done. Anyway, um. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Forgive me. Anyway, oh, she said the refrigerator is there, the one he bought, but it's not plugged up because there's no electricity. And then she went on to say that the lamp is plugged up. Okay. Then she went on to say that she had to take a cold shower, but then she cut her conversation short. She was about to tell how she had to take a cold shower. Then she went on to say that she had to boil water in a big pot and poured it in the five pound bucket so that she could wash but it didn't really work out pause you first of all she was shitting and pissing in that bucket y'all know how she don't like to clean and when she do clean it she don't clean thoroughly because she don't know how to okay so the the shitty pissy bucket you poured water in to wash your skin. So basically you you was you was wiping your skin down with, with um you know reactivated feces and your yo I can't y'all I, I can't this man what kind of homeless shit then they move she in the place telling this story why is you living like you outside you washing your ass out of a shitty pissy bucket why Oh man, y'all, I can't. Shitty cords, shitty pissy buckets. Y'all, this shitty. That's everything shitty. That you know. Uh uh. She needs to stop saying everybody jealous. Ain't nobody jealous today. I, mm -mm, mm -mm. Anyway, this this shit is this is crazy. Anyway, y'all, she um. Uh, <laughs> so she say she know that they're gonna move again and somewhere better. Oh my god. <laughs> 
No, you're going to move again, Adrian, not him. Because for him to be getting the furniture and making it cozy and doing all this and saying his daughter and, and son going to stay there and all that, no, you're going to move again. He the, the way you saying he's doing things around that place doesn't sound like he's planning on moving anytime soon. You're going to move again, okay? Mm-hmm. So she said he wants a whole house and a two-car garage for his fancy vehicles. She had to say for his fancy vehicles. Why are you just going to say for his cars, Adrian? I mean, seriously. You sitting up there with a recycled goddamn wig on, a, a, a Timu dress that all the goddamn thread coming out of, and you got to say his fancy vehicles. It, it, oh my goodness, y'all. Anyway, but his is his, okay? Whatever he got is his, not yours. Oh, my God. So then she went on to say that his vehicles is stored um, where Gelstone is at right now, okay? She says she don't blame him for not wanting to bring it to the new place where they're living at now because it's like a war zone over there. So this is where, okay, anyway. All right, so she says it's like a war zone over there where they live at, and he said he don't want to put himself or her in a situation where he could get locked up. Okay, that that's negative. Who, I mean, no matter where, you move out of whatever, why would you just automatically assume lockup? Like y'all acting like um hoodlums or something. What why would he say that? I don't I don't get it. Then why would he be making it comfortable there? You know what I mean? Or why did he go? Obviously, if you went to see the place, you know what type of area it was. So why I listen, I don't know, y'all. This is this her what she's saying. So she said, um, it's rough over there where they live. The people are like zombies and it's unsafe. Mm. Anyway. So she continues on to say that it's crazy out there and Rax be out the window watching his car. This is what she said right after that. She said he is crazy over there and he'd be out the window watching his car. Uh, a few sentences ago, she just said that he didn't feel safe for his vehicles over there because the type of neighborhood it was. So his vehicles is at where Gelstone is at. But okay, Adrian. The big hoghead liar. She lied, y'all. She tells that and then she lies in the same breath. Like, that's crazy. Anyway, um, so yeah, so she said, yeah, she be watching the cars and everything out the window with him. Then she started talking about again that he wants a two-car garage, a whole house, and hopefully, and she said, hopefully it has a place for Gelstone because she's been paying on it for a long time. First of all, Gelstone is not going. You're not even going if he gets a, a house, okay? So just stop, all right? And you only, you know why you paying for Gelstone? The same thing, why you doing now? You, you're bragging, you're boasting and all that, and then you did all of that when you met this man, talking about he this and that in the YouTube streets, and now look at you, using shitty extension cords, um, um, washing up out of pissy, shitty buckets. You see why you must be humble? So the reason why you still paying for Gelstone because you wasn't humble. You wasn't prepared to have Gelstone. When somebody buys a camper or whatever, they're prepared to live that type of life. They're prepared. They have to hook up. They have where they're going to hook it up. They, they have all that already. But remember, when you got Gelstone, the first thing you did was um show Will pulling it into somewhere and, and showing and telling the people, oh, you bitches, I look, uh-huh, look what I got. Uh, Y'all thought I wasn't going to do it once again. You so quick to try to prove something to us that you're not like in real your real life is fucked up. It's different from what you painting on YouTube. Why don't you try to deal with your real life and do everything accordingly at your pace instead of trying to do everything to um prove to us? We don't give a fuck, okay? You know, people that can sit down and talk about you know people got their um priorities and everything in order. Nobody's out here trying to prove everything. You're 50 something years old and you out here trying to prove and say, oh, y'all bitches, uh -huh, I got my camp and all that. Everything you do is for you two. And at the end of the day, you're the only one looking like a dumbass. You. And that's why you be talked about. Anyway, so, um, y'all. So while she's saying all that, right? She, um, Rax interrupts her. He yells from whatever part of the place he's in. He says, where's the ketchup? So she tells him to look look in the back of the pantry. And then she asks him, do you see it? Oh, maybe um, I left it along with the mayo, butter, and other stuff in the other place. 
so you can hear like the frustration in his voice. So he says something like, um, I, I told you to get it. I told you to get that shit. So I guess she left the she gave the stuff to the girl or whatever. So she he I think he he said something of the sort like you better call that girl and get that shit. But one that that's that's tacky. That's 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 tacky. I mean, once again, like I said, maybe it's just me. Anytime I moved into a new place, I, everything with new, especially shit like ketchup and all that. I mean, come on, man. Anyway, but she bragged on him, his, his luxury cars and his vehicles, and, and he don't want nobody to touch them, and he caught the air and this and that, and he over there crying about some fucking ketchup. Anyway, um, so, yeah, so, um, she she looked at all the embarrassed up in the face, that she wasn't expecting that, y'all. You know she wasn't expecting that. So, uh, she said, she tells him, well, we, we need it more anyway. It, it was only a little bit. And I left it with her because she needed it more than, than me. And it wasn't a lot. She looked it so embarrassed, y'all. And then she went on and changed the subject. Yeah, yeah, change that subject. Because the way you bragged about him and the way you, y'all bitches and judges and all that, he over there crying about some motherfucking ketchup. You, um, ketchup? He couldn't buy no ketchup? Lights ain't on, couldn't buy no ketchup, gotta use shitty essential coats, shitty buckets to wash your ass? Oh, no. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm. Anyway, I would have been embarrassed too, all that. So she changed the subject and started talking to her subscribers, y'all. So she started saying things like she have to get some curtains and personal things, right? Then she said, um, then she went on to talk about the, the um people just watching. She said, it's only uh she said it's 20 and some people with only 18 thumbs up. That's sad. No, you're sad. You're sad. People watching, this was thumb. Why would they thumb it up and you talking about shitty um extension cords and, and, and uh, shitty pissy buckets that you had to wash up in and all that and niggas crying about catch use ketchup and all why is somebody gonna thumbs that up adrian the fuck my thumbs and that shit up it's, it's it's a damn hassle to get through the fucking video anyway um so somebody asked her one of her subscribers asked her what's for lunch and she said cheddar sausage and boiled eggs my goodness my goodness i mean this is it i mean if people want to have it i'm Grown people want to have it for snack, whatever. That's a snack. That you, you a grown ass woman, okay? Talking about everybody and, and say you bitches and y'all just and this is what you gonna feed that grown ass man. He about to have his kids over there. You supposed to be the woman of the house and y'all motherfuckers is having cheddar, cheddar sausage and boiled eggs for lunch. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. So she tried to justify saying they was having cheddar sausage and boiled eggs for lunch by saying that she's on her diet pills <laughs> and she's gonna eat and she's gonna eat very little because she's trying to keep her curves where they're supposed to be at for her birthday. First of all, you're lying. Stop trying to make excuse because y'all gonna have cheddar sausage and boiled fucking eggs for lunch, okay? You, you, you on your diet pill, your birthday is a few days away. Diet pill, my ass. Diet pills don't work that goddamn quick. They don't work that quick, so just stop. And then she goes to show, like, pull her dress close to her and show her curves, like, oh, I'm trying to keep my curve. That's the only thing she can do, y'all. That that shit is done ran its course for racks, and y'all y'all can tell. It done ran its course, Adrian. Stop. The nigga you fucking don't even care about that no more. So why are you just shaking and fanning for us? We damn sure don't care about that. You just told everybody how you had to wash your ass out of a bucket that you pissed the shit in, and you got nothing to be shaking your ass? Child Lord. Mm -mm. Anyway. So, um, yeah, and then she, you know, get talking about she got to keep the, um, you know, her contour and, you know, and then she did the two snaps. You know how she do the two snaps, girl? Mm -mm. Anyway. So, uh, I think one of her subscribers asked something about what they had for dinner. So she tells her subscribers that she had bacon and boiled eggs for dinner. I mean, no fucking sense, y'all. Anyway, um, so she says she, um, they, that they have made plans for her birthday and she's going to let everyone see. Please do. We got to see this shit because so far, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, so. Yeah, so she said everyone will see. And she said um she can't wait until they situated so she can make her greens. Oh Lord, y'all. The funky ass greens. She about the greens when him and his kids come over there and she about the greens they ass to 
does. That's the only thing she know how to make. And that and, and to be honest, it don't it don't it don't look like she knows how to make that. It, that her way of making that is not my way of making uh greens and pretty sure it's not a lot of other people way of making greens the way she describes she make them she about the greens they and she swear that is the best thing in the world she about the greens they ass to death y'all oh my goodness when they get situated that i bet you that'd be the first thing on that goddamn um stove mm, mm, mm. so then she's doing all of that but then you hear racks working all in the background doing whatever he's doing so I guess like he might have an attitude. Only she could see him. The, you know, everybody else couldn't see him. So she looks back and she looks like nervous. So then um she says, "Okay, y'all, I'm about to go." Because it was like that look, like she might have looked at him and he had an attitude or something. Because she's on live and it's like, "Bitch, help! Like something, do something." You know what I mean? And she ain't doing nothing. So yeah, she said she had to go. She's about to go, and she left, y'all. Uh, it was another video, but y'all, this one, ugh. I, I'm I'm done. I'm I'm I'll leave another uh, I'll watch another video later on. Maybe two more and then you know I'll come out with another video. But yeah, y'all y'all share your thoughts down below. This is ooh I just can't wait till we get to the good part, y'all. When they get the kids move in and I can't wait till we get to the good part. Okay. So y'all leave your thoughts down below. Love y'all and y'all be safe, okay?